Okay, we got a new deck today for everybody on YouTube or here in Twitch chat. We're playing Grixis Thief. So this is the deck I made today. We're really I just want to I just want to play Thief of Sandy, and I just want to attack my opponent a bunch with Thief of Sandy, and try to get that to work. I'm not sure if this deck is going to be great. Uh, we'll see. But our goal is to to just hit our opponent with Thief of Sandy a bunch. We'll see how that goal does for us. Double Dinger. Thank you so much for the sub. First sub of the day. Kicking the day off right. Yeah, War Packs. Yeah, I wish it was Friday also. But we got one more day until Friday. And then we'll have our big time constructed set review tomorrow for Ravnica Allegiance. I do have a couple uh, Niv Mizzets over, chilling over here on the sideboard. I don't have lots of red sources, only 13. So Niv Mizzets going to be kind of hard to cast. But, you know, whatever. We're just going to hopefully play Thief of Sanity, have some negates, dive down to protect it. Um, same with Nicol Bolas. And kind of go from there. So we'll see if this works. This is definitely a chance it doesn't. But let's try it out. Should be a, a fun day on stream today. Yeah, thank you so much, Double Dinger. Okay, let's see how see how this works. Hey Zexion, good evening. Play first. Oh no. We have our Thief of Sandy dive down combo. But just one land. Uh, if one of these last four was a second land, I'd be willing to keep this. Like I'd I'd really like this hand, but can't just keep the one lander. Hmm. This one doesn't look so good. Not a black source. I mean, we need land, though. This is a tough... I guess I'll just keep it. Yeah, if you want to find all the deck lists, you can go... That's where you can find them. Streamdecker.com slash decks slash ToddStevensMTG. If you want this specific deck list, you can find it right here. If you're just joining, don't forget to vote in the straw poll for what deck to play fifth. Should we play or play fourth? We're either going to play Selesnya Angels or Jeskai Taking Turns. We're going to play one of these two. Oh no. We are playing against Boros Locket, a card I have never seen and constructed before. So I, I like our chances if we find a black source. Suzu, hey, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Uh-oh. That's a good card. All right, finally. We're going to play Thief and have Dive Down Protection available. Overplaying anything else. We do, we are, we're not winning the race through Kindling Phoenix, but now with Diva Sandy being a 2-5, we do get to block it here. So that's kind of cool. All right, Needle Tooth Raptor. Whenever it is dealt damage, it deals five damage to target creature and opponent controls. Okay. They still attacked with the Phoenix. So we get a hit in here. Yeah, not not sure who exactly plays Boros Locket, but our opponent's kind of doing their thing. Um, so we're certainly going to seal away the Phoenix. Might as well just do that to start with. Then do I want to Thief or Thought Erasure? I think I want to do other Thief. Thief. 
Been playing your Grixis discard deck today. I've made some adjust adjustments for best of one, having a lot of fun. Demir Control has been my favorite for a long time, but I might have found a new favorite. That's awesome. More back to you. Yeah, I, th I really like that deck too. I think that deck's really strong. Uh, that's my favorite of the any blue black based variant I've played so far in this format. Das Bum! Great job, great decks. Thank you. Always a pleasure to watch. Thank you so much, Das Bum. Thank you so much. Being our second sub of the day. That's going to get some high votes in the chat. All right, two out of five. Hey, Jen. Good evening. All right, what do we got? Siege Gang Commander. Hmm. I'm taking the Repeating Barrage just so my opponent can't get that card. Because that would go to their graveyard and they'd be able to raid and return it. And I, I don't want them to necessarily do that. Um, let's play another Thief and Thought Erasure. Or Siege King. Or Ral. Or Nicol Bolas. So we have a lot of options. We're going to go Ral to hit land drops. I oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Not exactly land drops, but... Witness. If I use some of your night bot commands... Yeah, like, just... I, I have MTG bot. Um, I, don't, I don't have night bot myself. But yeah, you can... You can do the same kind of commands for another streamer, getting their channel set up. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to play in GP Strasbourg Day 2 PTQ and would love to play Naya Value there in mid-February. Will you be updating your tech on Naya Value then with the Legion's cards? Yeah. Um, I'm going to be working on... Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be working on a lot of card, a lot of decks. Um... For sure. So, yeah, I'm sure Naya Value will be a part of it. Um, I'm going to be spending the first few days playing limited, you know, gain, hmm. getting decisions, more cards. Decisions. But, uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be playing it. Okay, so... Uh, Ritual of Soot would kill my Thief of Sanity. So many options. There's too many options. I think I'm going to go Bolus and have Negate up. Thanks, Witness. Oh, yeah, Brian's a really good dude. I like Brian. Um, ugh. And, uh, so what do they have? Make a stand? Thanks, Robert. Is there a way with Deckmaster to see how many cards the opponent has? Uh, you cannot see how many cards they have like in their library now, which is it's kind of weird. You can see you basically get all the other information except for how many cards they have in their library. So I, I have to kind of show that. So they're they're down to 31. We're at 42. But of course, we've been hitting them for three. Like, you know, this has been taking out three cards each turn. Yes, yeah, so they can still sack a couple goblins to kill Nicol Bolas here. Yeah. 
Yeah, but thanks for the kind words, y'all. Okay. He's like, ooh, it's stream time. That means I get pet time. Come on. Hmm. I really just want lands. We have so many spells. I wish Thief of Sandy could get us lands. Yeah, go ahead, Zexion. Um, so I go Shalai and Thought Erasure. We'll start with Thought Erasure. Divine Visitation and Dinosaur Stampede. It's like Dinosaur Stampede. Keep the land. Um... Play Shalai. So we're taking three. Can't really block either. I could block the the Neil Tooth Raptor, and it just trades with Shalai. Honestly, maybe I'll just do that. I'll just have those trade. That's not really a reason for me to take more damage. Hey, Planeswalker Academy. I'm gonna keep sending this reminder kind of today throughout our throughout our three uh, first matches today. I'm either I'm playing one of the one of the last two decks today for the fourth deck. Lesnia so Angels or Jeskai taking turns. Feel free to vote in the poll. I just put in the chat here, or you can do exclamation point vote later on. That's a good point. We could dispersal the visitation. Well, I guess they may they may do siege gang, so they they would get to choose between siege gang and visitation. Um, I don't really care about visitation too much because we would have ritual set to take their things away. Hmm. Um. If we play Siege Gang, that's our only thing. I'm going to go History and Thief. Oh, you're only at 36% on the vault? Uh, so far away. Yeah. yeah, opponent has a little bit... A little bit of a different deck. They're trying to go wide, a bunch of pump spells. Yeah, Deckmaster definitely enhances the viewing experience. You can be checking out all the cards in the graveyard, um, all the cards in play in the graveyard, everything while I'm playing here. You can be checking them out with Deckmaster there. Todd, yeah, doing well. Yeah, Allegiance is going to be on Arena on the 17th. So um, that's, where, that's where you'll find that. Is that a new update for today? No. Uh, you can... You can basically find... Hmm. You can find your vault progress in your computer files. What are you doing there, Hawkeye? No, I won't be playing... I won't be playing with the cards early. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. So if I... Right. 
We need more lands. Well, those cards are good. All right, let's just start this over. New battlefield. Next turn, we can dispersal the Divine Visitation. Presumably. Alright, so do I want to take five... So we have four instants and sorceries. Yes, we do. Every problem has a solution. Let's start by taking you out of the equation. I only have three bolus. What should I use for the other one? Um, you can basically. There's lots of cards in Grixis colors you can use for another one. I would. You can use like a planeswalker, like Ral or Angrath. Uh, you can use Eldest Reborn. Which Eldritch Reborn's a, a really good option that's not rare or mythic. You can use Doom Whisperer as well. Um, so lots of good options in Grixis colors. Over Nicol Bolas if you need to replace it. I've been through worse. Alright, we'll get rid of that visitation now. Probably should have taken that visitation with my discard spell earlier. I took a thing that gave their attacking creatures plus two, plus zero. The search for the unknown. That may not That's have been the space. most important thing. Oh, I already played the land. Dang. I was going to play my land, play Trash Master. Cool, yeah, Angrath will fix it. There you go. <laughs> Deck Master ruined me. I watch your YouTube videos and figure can't figure out why it won't work. Well, Heroic, Re Heroic Reinforcements is good. Oh, Lose my ego, too. I've been through worse. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we can't get that to work. Um, Deckmaster on YouTube, that'd be really nice. Yeah, if you're not if you're not following me on YouTube, please give me a follow there. We're almost halfway to having enough followers on YouTube to be able to get partnered. So I would appreciate it if you do go on over there. YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. All right, they're getting a lot of attacks in. All we need to do is not die. And then... Siege Gang, Trash Master, and Repeating Barrage will end this game. This deals three damage to any target. So we'll just do three damage to them. And we killed our opponent with all their own cards. That's what Thief of Sandy does. Gotta love it. Alright, Golden Demise. Ritual of Soot. Need some more sweepers. Um, we could honestly play Duress. They don't have that many creatures. I guess we did see an Adanto Vanguard in that, from them. So maybe I need Moment of Craving also. I'm not sure if we really need Contempt. We don't have many expensive things. Lots of cheap things and tokens and stuff like that. Star, I think, may be too expensive. I'm going to not play that one. I'm going to play one moment, or maybe, maybe just three Lava Coil. 
Yeah, I like keeping a couple of negates in there. That looks good. I I think I need dive down. I don't know. They had a decent amount of removal. Dive down was pretty good for us. <laughs> Thief of Sandy also has the hidden ability to create salt. Lots and lots of salt. I thought you were playing Grixis Goblins. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. No, we were taking our... We hit our opponent with Thief of Sanity a bunch earlier, and so we were taking their cards. Alright, 490 out of five, 500. Sweet. Nice. We need. I need 1,000 for, for sub, but yeah, 490. Awesome. Thank y'all for going on over there. I was at 477 earlier today, so that means y'all were just going on over there to sub. Thank, thank y'all so much. Um, you can see I, I've been putting up all the all the videos up there too. You can find all of the. Uh, I guess they did have Shalai. Find all the the replays there for the videos you miss. <laughs> I saw the of Shalai. I was like, is this Singleton? <laughs> man matter with a sub. Thanks, man matter. It's been a great day today so far. Thanks, Baldrick. Glad you're joining the stream. So I took their Shalai. Heroic reinforcements, of course, is really scary. Um, but I have negate for the heroic reinforcements. So I just went ahead and took Shalai there. We'll just have this two mana up for negate. Okay, we're going to have the mana up again. Hmm. Look for some kind of sweeper. Golden Demise, Ritual of Soot. Something like that. Hmm. Well, if we don't draw anything but lands this game, we're certainly going to lose. But we're taking five. We can play Nikki B. And then, uh, so we're down to 11 with Nikki B blocking. We take four. A swamp is almost like a golden demiser, if you if you think about it, it basically is. Oh yeah, Nikki B, this is my dragon. Bleh. Alright, we got two mana surveil one. All right, if you're just joining us, don't forget to vote for what deck to play fourth today. Selesnya Angels or Just Guy Taking Turns. I'm playing one of these two. Maybe I... Playing one of those two. Hey, Nikki B with the sub! <laughs> oh, welcome, Nikki B. That is awesome. That is really cool. That gets some hype, for sure. Um, Alright, so I am I'm going to be transforming Nicol Bolas here. Nicky B would just be blocking anyway, so I'm gonna transform minus No wait. one can stand in my way. Maybe I go put Shalai into play. Or other Nickel Bolas. I guess other Nickel Bolas. Death means nothing to me. Neil Tooth maybe wouldn't be so bad. So the attack out, we take. Aha, no attacks. All right, now, Nikki. Oh nope, never mind. We haven't gotten to the attack part yet. 
So that's sub number four on the day. Shalai would give me Hexproof. That's a good point. Me having Hexproof could be pretty important. Woo! Found it. My knowledge is endless. <laughs> Tilt. Yeah, you can you can find the deck exclamation point deck list. That's where you can find the deck. Yeah, our opponent's really trying to make a stand here. They're making a stand. Oh, I did it right above you, Furious Fred. Go through that link that's right above you. Uh, I should have got Shalai. I needed hexproof. No. There you go. Hmm. Let's go three negate two dev down. Yeah. I didn't really worry about Nickel Bolas having hex proof, and I got the new one that I could also transform that if need be. Um but yeah, I kind of didn't really cons take too long to consider Burn Spell to the face. Which definitely means I should have taken Shalai. Yep, Ravnica Allegiance is the new car set. card set. Yep. And it'll be here on Arena on the 17th, just a week away. So I have expansion also that can copy something. I could copy their heroic reinforcements. Hmm. Do I want to play Bolus yet? I don't think so. I think I waited turn for Bolus so I can protect it with dive down. We got a donation! Jay Jack Jr. Hey Todd, I've tested this version of my brew. If you could do a side the sideboard for me, that would be great. Keep main board the same, including lands and the mana base is pretty alright. Okay, good. Um Um, I don't I don't do the ranked stuff and construct it on here. Um, I play the the best two out of three games where you know we play cyborg and everything like that. Like right now it's one one and those aren't those aren't ranked. Alright, so this is the deck, Abzian Explorer. This is the donation deck here. Hmm. I'll just keep Nicol Bolas back. I think I want to be able to be able to block here. And check out this Abzan Explorer deck.
All right, so I block this. They get to kill Thief of Sanity, but I'm I'm fine with that. I'm glad that right now they can't, they cannot do the five damage to Nickel Bolas because it has it's been dived down. So and I think I'm fine with that because, um, you know we're we're behind on life total, and Thief of Sanity cannot get through Kinjali Sunwing either. Alright, and I'll just pass. I must have negate available. Yeah, first glance, I, I like it. Do you like do you do you think that contempt is better than bugler? How you know how you can find bugler with or sorry, uh, Chupacabra, how you can find Chupacabra with Bugler. You know, they have the same mana cost. So it's, you know, you, you do not get, you're not able to exile Planeswalk, Planeswalkers, of course, and you can't exile anything, but you can find your removal spell with Bugler. All right, play Ral. Oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Alright, I'll take the land. So we're gonna play Search Roscanta. And I think we're gonna have this game on the back of Ral and Search Roscanta. Alright, we got three three there for Ral if we want to. Minus Rao, but that's a good card. Might as well minus Rao. Like the out of the blue. It felt pretty good without Choop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't really want Choop in the sideboard. I think it'd be... It would go in that slot in the main deck if, if we would play it. We'd want um, more precise cards in our sideboard, more likely. Hmm. Decision time. I'm so impressed with Arena because I can hover over the cards on stream and read them. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's that's not even an Arena thing, I don't think. I don't think that that's a Wizards thing. Um, that's just... That's Deckmaster, which I, I believe is just a, a separate company. Just like, you know, somebody just made that. Um, so, yeah, replacing Contempt for Choop. Yeah, Deckmaster is just one guy. Yeah, it's just one guy that, that's just decided to make it himself. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, he did a great job. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to explosion for five here. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how it works. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I, would, I don't know exactly how it works. Um, I'm not that technical. I'm not. I don't know that much technology stuff. Um, but anyway, so contempt is going to be better against planeswalkers and arclight phoenix. But I think chupacabra is going to be better against kind of everything else. The instant speed, of course, is nice and everything. Just, but like having Bugler dig for Chupacabra, I think, is is really, really beneficial. And also Vivian too, right? I'm I'm sh I'm assuming we're playing Vivian. Yeah. So Vivian also digs for Chupacabra. So that's that's the thing is, um, and find finality gets it back. So you know, like you just have like more access to removal between cards like Militia Bugler, Vivian, and find finality um, can all get you Chupacabra. So I think it makes those all those cards better. 
All right, Grixis Thief starting with a win. Wasn't necessarily the hardest matchup with some of the cards our opponent was playing, but they had some stuff that was kind of difficult for us with, like, going wide and direct damage and things like that. Yeah, Bugler is very strong. Yeah, that's true with the niv Mizzet. Chupacabra's good there. But, all right, yeah, we'll leave it as is. Um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to play Thief of Sanity. All right, so we have donation for Abzan Explore up next. And J. Jack Jr. donate to skip the line. So that's going to be next. So actually, we had the vote in for either Angels or Taking Turns, but I don't think we're going to get to either of those today. Let's see what was winning the vote. Lava Runner, huh? All right, Just Guy Taking Turns was, was winning the vote. Interesting. Kind of wonder which of those y'all liked more. Okay, yeah, I'll let you think on it. All right, gonna go ahead and coil right now. You know that is a two-two, and we'll have even if they have like chain whirler here, we'll have a contempt for that. But we gotta. Make sure we take as little as a uh, little as little damage as possible. And I'm saving negate for experimental frenzy this turn. So we'll just get the tap land in. It would it would have been a really great hand if they had experimental frenzy there. Um, you know they had one drop and then. Double burn spell and chain whirler. That's already a real good hand. Any new cards catching my eye? Oh yeah, just tons, tons of new cards catching my eye. Um, yeah, the, the set looks looks really good. Looks real deep. Um, I'm certainly excited to excited to play Ravnica Allegiance. Hmm. All right, Todd, take care. I think at this point I have like Ral that can kind of help us win, and I'd rather negate the risk factor. <laughs> you can you can do both, Holy Avatar. You can watch watch the videos live and YouTube videos you missed. All right, we're at three. So, Nicobolas can end the game in a few turns. This is gonna be tough. I don't think I don't know if we'll be able to, to win this. Our opponent had an awesome hand. I don't think we're gonna be able to win this.
All they need is any three damage burn spell. I did not flip Searcher's Canta there. Because we already knew. Um, I guess I keep that. We already knew that um, I was going to be using my six mana. I didn't need that extra one mana from Escanta. Man, they just didn't draw any land. Like, they drew the perfect four, four lands and then just all burn spells. Ugh. Alright, let's get these other negates in here. Uh, moment of cravings. Ritual. Contempt. The DD stands for donation deck. That was a that was a donation deck. And if you'd like your if you'd like to donate for a deck to be played, lots of information on that down below. Do I want duress? Dress is good against all these burn spells, so they're going, like, spell heavy. This is good. But what am I cutting? I gotta cut cards. Kind of like everything we got. I guess we're gonna trim a dive down. Maybe... Do I take out Thief of Sandy in this matchup? I don't want to take out Thief of Sandy. It's kind of the point of my deck, so I'm not gonna take it out. Uh, if I take out Ral and search, we'll cut one one thief. Thief isn't as good, of course, with uh, us having these all these ritual sets in. Uh, all right. Yeah, they had the fifth land too with the jump started. Risk factor. Hey, radical guru. All right, well, this is our hand. Let's try it out. Any non-land I was surveilling to the bottom there. Well, most likely anyone. If it's like moment of craving, you'd keep. content and level-headed thinking going on month three. Thanks, RB. And that's sub number five on the day. Yeah, congrats, RB. Thank you so much for that continued support. Risk factor, risk factor, Wizard's Lightning, Chain Whirler. I think I take, a, take the Chain Whirler. Uh, I'm going to take a risk factor. All right. Five subs already. Been a wonderful Thursday. Thank you all so much. Ugh. Other lava runner. It's rough. It's good. I need land though. <laughs> Did 
just made diamond ranked with turbo frog turbo fog <laughs> not turbo frog turbo fog way to go valley yeah london i i'm kind of thinking I, I probably should have taken the wizard's lightning i kind of like your decision especially with them having another lava runner i certainly regret not taking lava run lightning i think yeah i think i think i should have taken lightning for well i mean you know i didn't know they'd have another lava runner but just think about it more <laughs> Turbo Frog. All right, let's do a 60 second pull. We got to our five subs. We're cracking a pack on Arena to celebrate. So you get to vote for which set you would like me to. Um, get a pack from. So it's either going to be M19, Dominaria, Rivals of Ixalan, or Ixalan. So you got 60 seconds. I wish it was allegiance. Not allegiance yet. Hmm. It's gonna be hard to win. I just can't beat. I can't beat this. Alright, one and one. Real good hands for the opponent. My hands were okay, but certainly not beating that. The red deck is still good. Alright, let's see what pack are we getting. M19 with a win. Celtic Spanner, hey. No, do, no, we don't surveil enough to run Creeping Chill. Um... There's only two surveil cards in the deck with Auto Erasure and Discovery. Um, so yeah, not not quite enough there. All right, M19. So go ahead and get your guess in the chat. What rare or mythic are we gonna open up from M19? If you get it right, you can get a free, free song request. If you get it right, you can pick a song if you would like. You don't need it to. It may just be, you know, you can just use it for bragging rights also. A rare or a mythic. Um, no, nah, Chain Whirlers and Dominaria. <laughs> so we got Chromium, Sarkin, Demanding Dragon, Vivian Reed, Liliana, Ajani, Arcades, One with the Machine. I'm going to guess um, Izareth, the Awakener, Sarkin's and Ceiling, the Red Guy. I don't know if you'll get... I don't know if you'll get credit for that one. <laughs> it is Death Baron. Death Baron. But yeah, no. We had Phyrectory Lich. That was the closest. I think. <laughs> Beth Darren. <laughs> yep, there we go. I came close. I said Izareth, which was also cost one RR, or sorry, one one BB. So I, I had the same casting cost. All right, one and one. Grixis Thief. We need to hit. We need to hit our opponent with more Thief of Sandies. We haven't been hitting with enough Thief of Sandies recently. Oh, this is a good chance. We have a real good chance of hitting with Eve Sandy here with this this hand. Because we're on the play with turn two discard, turn three thief. <laughs> we'll open another one uh, with five more subs when we get to ten. We're doing it again. The dream. All right, let's take shock. Ooh, keep other Thief of Sandy. So there you have dive down, dive down, treasure map, opt. Just getting it right out of here. <laughs> Thief of Sanity is what my, I call my three-month-old. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, leave Sandy. What do you think about the new Delver, Winged Salamander? That card looks really strong. It's kind of scary, honestly. Um, yeah, it looks, looks pretty strong. Uh, we'll see. It's, it's certainly one of my least favorite cards in the set. Um, but, yeah, it looks like it'll be pretty good. No, opponent killed my, killed my thief. Ugh, not even holding up dive down. Come on, auto tap. So I played the swamp first, so we could hold up dive down. Okay. No shock. No shock. No. November, January. No shock, January. I like how they scryed first before the thief. It's like, thanks. I'll, t I'll take your card. Oh, that's Crackling Drake. Crackling Drake's cool. I'll play that. Because they scryed to the top. So they, they scryed that Crackling Drake to the, to the top. I've been on a big dive down kick lately. I've played two decks with dive down. Oh, no. I played mono blue also. What? Niv visit? What is that garbage? Alright, so I can dispersal, bounce it, they discard a dive down. Um could also attack and then lava coil, but they no, they have dive down mana up. Really? Niv it? They're just gonna play it again the, the next turn, but no no, I guess so. So they can cast the dive down though and kill my thief. Woo! Thankfully they didn't kill my thief. Oh, you've never seen thief and dive down? Yeah, it was actually a a, a thing at at the pro tour for Guilds of Ravnica. Some people, there's a, a few people that played um, Grixis decks. Or sorry, Demir decks, just straight up Demir decks with, with those cards. I can't really give them Beacon Bolt. I guess maybe I should have done this end step and then been able to Thought Erasure. Yeah, so Beacon Bolt on our side only deals two. So remember, it checks our side. You know, it says four right now, but it's four on their side. But it, it, whenever we cast it, it checks ours. Yeah, so Coral plus Beacon is two cards for them, and they have a dive down to protect their Niv. Well, not right now they don't. Because they'd have to... That's five, five mana there. They'd have to use their treasure if they want to cast Niv. Okay, they don't cast Niv. They draw a lot of cards, but we get to Thought Erasure. Take Niv. So they have Shock. Um. Hold me closer, can dance. Let's just put the spell over there, grow the Crackling Drake. So Ritual of Soot will be able to kill their Enigma Drake, uh, you know, through Dive Down. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I figure they play Enigma Drake and Shock here. And then, uh, and then we ritual of sit. I scry that one to the top very quickly. Uh, 
That's not good for me. Yeah, treasure map's really good. Most every transform card is cool, right? Like, transform cards are pretty cool. I like them. Done, done. All right, we should have this. We're gonna be able to coil with expand, coil with expansion. So we're gonna go ahead and coil. They dive down. I expansion, copy the coil. So we can have the coil. So we can have our sorcery on top of their instant. Get that exiled, and then we attack it for seven. All right, crackling Drake doing its thing. I, I originally had Crackling Drake in this deck originally, but I had to cut down to 60, but I was originally going to play 4 Thief, 4 Nicol Bolas, 4 Crackling Drake. That's all I wanted to do with this deck. Alright, what else do we want to do? Elvish Reborn? Boom. And uh, Nagate? Oh, my closer. Tony Danza. <laughs> so I meant to do GG. <laughs> uh, Duress, Nagate. Certainly options. Ritual does kill the Enigma Drake, but I want to take it out. Mm-hmm. There's not a whole. There's not. There's not much. There's not nearly as much aggro in best of three as there is in best of one. Um, so don't play against aggro a ton. Most aggro players like playing best of one. Yeah, we certainly do want to hit Niv. Duress can protect our Thief of Sanity though. That's what it gets to do. It can take Search for his Canta. Can take Treasure Map. Stuff like that. I think I'll just play another Contempt. We'll do that. I wouldn't mind putting more Duresses and Negates in the deck, but I don't think I want them over the other cards in the deck currently. But I, I wouldn't mind having more in this matchup. Yeah, and it, there's nothing wrong with it, Ice Up Sun. I was just saying, like, that's just kind of how it, how it is. So I don't have to have Moment of Craving main deck and stuff. Um, I want Wilderness Reclamation and that two-mana ramp I forgot the name of. The two-mana ramp creature? Coil and opt. I don't think I take opt. <laughs> I think I can play around the coil. Where opt can find something a lot better. Pretty sure I can beat a lava coil. See, Opt can find cards like that. That's a good card. I didn't want them to find more creatures, basically. Didn't want them to find like Niv Mizzet. But all I need is two more land drops. So I can play Nickel Bolas with Negate back up for the for the coil.
No creature, no creature. I wouldn't mind a spell. Alright, good, no creature. Hmm. Search for Scant is kind of better than Nickel Bolas. They're gonna have their negate. Yep. Could certainly see them having the negate in hand. So we get to resolve. Nick or we get to resolve. Search for Scanta. Ow. Hey, Sloth vs. Platypus. Howdy. I like how they're just continuing to play lands out of their hand um, for Nicol Bolas. I'm definitely enjoying that. Is this Disdainful Stroke? The Strength of Angel... Grace. I would almost give it almost stronger than Archangel Avacyn. I think Angel of Grace does look very strong. I think it is not close to being as good as Archangel Avacyn. Um, Archangel Avacyn, I believe, is is much better. But I do think Ar I do think Angel of Grace is very very good. Um, the four toughness in this format with Lava Coil going to be just the you know like most used removal spell isn't great um but yeah no Arch archangel obviously is certainly a lot better but angel grace does look very good like just flash flash is is one of the most underrated keywords at all whenever people just kind of read flash on um, cards during preview season that kind of glaze over it, but Flash is very, very strong. Yeah, Flash is very good. So yeah, that card's looking looking great. Man, it'll be fun. We're gonna spend tomorrow talking about all the cards. Uh, going through each color, going through every card. So make sure you're tuned into the stream tomorrow. We're going to do a big uh, constructed set review with Ravnica Allegiance. I'm going to give every card an A through F grade, talking standard wise. What about the guild pack window giving multicolor creatures plus one plus one with Orzov? That seems like a bomb. Yeah, and then I'll put them up on YouTube also, Sneaks. Um, yep, we'll put them up on YouTube. Or youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Don't forget to follow along there. Yeah, and so even if you're busy, you'll be able to, like, that's why I wanted to do it tomorrow. Because even if, you know, if people are busy, they'll be able to either watch it or listen to it on the weekend, over the weekend. I mean, I'll, like, read each card out. Um, you know, I'll be kind of reading the card quickly, but I'll read each card out so that, um, if you're just listening to it, kind of like podcast style, you'll be able to do that as well. It's going to be really disappointing if, for some reason, we don't actually have the full set for us tomorrow. We should, but, you know, you never know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't know if the opponent disconnected or what. Yeah, usually there's still a uh, quite a few cards, like 50, 100 cards. Uh you know, basically lots of commons and uncommons for the most part. 
uh, left whenever it's the the very last day, whenever Wizards just releases the entire set. So, yeah, so Mythic Spoiler has a 162 out of 259. Yeah, so it's probably mostly commons. We haven't seen tons and tons of commons, and, you know, that's the most. We've seen all the Mythics, you know, seen lots of rares, lots of uncommons. Hey, Kilo. When, when the next set comes out and we have the other five shock lands, then uh, we're going to have your people will be able to play a three color deck where the first 24 lands, if you play the 4x of each of the three shock lands and 4x of each of the three buddy lands, so that's 24 lands where you have 16 sources of each color, which isn't necessarily like when you're heavy on a color you want at least 17 uh maybe 18 but 16 of all three is really really good like you're basically going to be able to play cards like you could play like the devil and sinister sabotage in the same deck with that kind of mana base and and because you know you're not even just playing just 24 lands you'll play 25 or 26 and so you'll have an extra basic or two also so mana's gonna be very good. You got platinum today? Way to go. Way to go. Good job. Um, I'm not sure which of the three mana colors seems strongest right now. So many just look real good and everything. Like <laughs> it's basically every single three color combination I'm kind of excited to play. There's not really one I'm not like, not not excited to play. Whew! Alright. Our opponent is... They are Conclave Tribunaling it up. Yeah. Got a four-pack there. Um, I mean, I guess I just take one Tribunal. Guess we just start working on those. One down. Rao will take another one. <laughs> you need a straight flush at least to beat that. No, I don't have the negate available. Ugh. Hmm. That's annoying. I certainly love to negate that. That's that's the card that our opponent needs to draw to to be able to have a chance in this game. That was certainly the card they needed, right there. Just want to peek. The weight is killing me. All right, so they do have six damage that they'll be able to attack Rao with, or or they can tribunal Rao and attack me. Looks like they're doing that. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're two spells away. Kind of a tough call. Whether to cast Discovery or Dispersal. If I cast Dispersal, I get Rao back. I can have Rao kill the Knight. So I basically spend five to kill the Knight, make them discard one of the Tribunals. Four, five, six, seven. And then they also like attack Rao. Nah.
Well, that was worst case scenario. So we have to counter the Conclave Tribunal, otherwise we're dead. Because the Tribunal would be their 10th permanent and give them Sentry. Dispersal certainly would have been a lot better than what we just did. Yeah, we gotta, gotta draw that Ritual of Sid. Do you see the new captive audience being played? Likely. I cannot survive this. I wish I would have dispersed. Alright, moment. Demise. Soot. Contempt. Um Man, that history banalia draw. That was that was the card. That was a good one. I mean I don't think I'll be see I don't think the captive audience will be played in tier one decks. But I think it could see some, you know, see some play by, like, decks that I play. <laughs> yep, if we had just negate for the history, if I just don't, don't cast the Thought Erasure and just save negate, that was my bad there. Man, do I just have to cut... Just have to cut Thief of Sanity? It's unfortunate. It's not spectacular with us not even going to be able to do anything on turn two. Well, let's, let's keep trying. Would Duress work well against this deck? It'd be okay. Yeah, like, it would, it would be okay. Um, they do play a lot of spells, which is, you know, as you can see, I have these negates in. Um, they do play a lot of spells. And I do want to negate History Banalia here. It's not History Banalia. Alright, come on, land. Alright, we're going to be risky. Because I, th I feel like we need to be. So, we're in Discovery. We need to find a land here. Well, it's a shock land. It's going to cost me life. We need to start getting towards this Star of Extinction. I wanted to land there where I could Lava Coil that Benelish Marshal and have Negate up for a history. Frenzy. Okay. Early Frenzy. Wasn't really what I was expecting this early. Still gonna Coil and keep Negate up. Certainly may be tough to beat. I don't I don't know if we beat Frenzy. We'll see. certainly use a planeswalk. We could certainly use something like Rao over here. 
Nickel Bolas works. Um, we'll find another seventh land. We don't need that exact seventh land. Now, do I. Do I save negate to protect Bolas? Or do I just cast it? We know they can't use any any of their cards in their hand with a double frenzy. Um I'll I'm gonna pass. I wouldn't mind casting the Star of Extinction first before Bolas also. If we beat Frenzy. They choose the vampire. Kind of weird. By Star of Extinction, they still get to keep the Vampire and the Hunted Witness. Yeah, so what's the April one? War of the Spark? What just happened? Oh, our opponent destroyed a Frenzy. Why didn't they just attack and flip their Legion's Landing? Because, yeah, even if they, they just destroy the two frenzies, they still got six cards in hand. Yeah, no, Banefire was, was the card that I was thinking of. That was why they would do that. Pretty surprised they don't attack there with Haunted Witness and the Legion's Landing, neither one of them being important cards. Hundred witnesses are really good. Hundred witnesses are really good. Because even if I cast Star of Extinction, they get to come back. So they're down to three cards in hand. Seven. Yeah, if you want the deck list, exclamation point deck list. They played two creatures, Dauntless Bodyguard, Haunted Witness.
All right, don't bring in Star of Extinction in that matchup again. Note to self, Star of Extinction is horrible for that matchup. Dress would be better. Glad I had the negates, but yeah. You know when I think of Spark, one keyword comes to mind. Energy maybe making a comeback. Zero chance. Zero percent chance. Energy comes back. So no, no reason to worry about that or think of that at all. Arcane Adaptation. Not the best of our rares, but all right. So Grixis Thief, we went we went to 2-2. Uh, I struggled with the aggro decks. You know, we lost a mono red and a mono white splashing frenzy. Uh, two really good aggro decks. Um, in particular, I like the mono white splashing frenzy deck um, myself. I think that's a that's a strong deck, and lost to that. So my aggro matchups weren't so good, which was to be expected whenever we're playing cards like Thief of Sanity, Dive Down. You know, like we're we're not going to be real good against a bunch of burn spells and cheap creatures and stuff. So lost those two matchups, one the other ones, but. You know, it's pretty fun. We we didn't get to hit our opponent with Thief too much, and that's that's kind of sad. Um, I want to wanted to uh, you know hit hit our opponent with Thief a bunch. We did the very first game we played, but that was kind of the only game that we got to do that. But that's all right. Um, so we went two two. Nothing wrong there. All right, if you're watching this on YouTube later, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be able to follow along the channel for all the other videos and hopefully jump right into another video as well. Um, that's it for Grixis Thief, and thanks for watching.